In this video I will be discussing our collaboration with Luxalgo and our brand new indicator suite that you can access by going to luxalgo.com slash creators slash BTC power lab. As you may already know we have a different set of indicators that you can access by joining our Patreon. But this is a new subset of indicators that has been made possible by the tireless work of our Luxalgo partners who have been working for the past months to bypass the inherent limitations of TradingView. And as you can see already, there are a lot of indicators that are available as a part of this package. And we'll be adding more indicators as time goes on. So let's get to the charts and have a brief overview of the currently available indicators. First we have the classic log log chart displaying Bitcoin's power law relationship between price and time. Look how beautifully straight the bottom support line is. This regularity is almost unbelievable. Then we have the Bitcoin Power Law Bands, which is an upgraded version of the Adaptive Power Law Indicator. It adapts to the recent data and continuously measures the best fitting line, giving different weights to present and past data. So it has both the quality of detecting the general trend and adapting to the recent trends in the data. Next, we have the Bitcoin Power Law Spiral Clock. This is a great tool for understanding where we currently are in Bitcoin's market cycle. Displaying Bitcoin's Power Law as a spiral is a great way of illustrating Bitcoin's periodicity. Then we have the Detrended Oscillator. This is great for identifying when Bitcoin is over or undervalued, as illustrated by the color coding. This is also a great tool for weighted dollar cost averaging. Finally, we have the local Hearst exponent and volatility estimates. By identifying the degree of randomness in Bitcoin's price movements, the Hearst exponent helps predict periods of less or more predictability, providing unique insights into its future volatility and trends. Now, this video is meant as a brief introduction to our Luxalgo indicators, but I will elaborate a little bit more on the log log and spiral indicators. Now, first of all, it's recommended to collapse all of the indicators that are not in use because uh, the chart would look way too cluttered otherwise, as you can see over here. So you can use these menu buttons over here to either move a pane down or collapse a pane. As you can see, you can also restore it from here. But for now, let's uh, have only two indicators available. And by the way, if you want to uh, change the scaling and shape of these indicators, you can just uh, press your left mouse button over here and drag it along this price scale over here. And for more clarity, for example, if you want to highlight one particular indicator, you can just double click on that indicator like this. Now to the Bitcoin Power Law Log Log Graph. As you can see, the Luxalgo team managed to pull off some absolute wizardry because I have no idea how they did this. Because it's very difficult to natively create a log log graph on TradingView, but somehow they pulled it off. And there are a lot of things that you can see from this beautiful chart. First of all, you may notice all of these ribbons over here. These are deviations from the general Bitcoin power law trend. And also you can see that there's a different time scale because uh, time is not meant to be scaled in a logarithmic way natively in TradingView. So they had to create a separate scale over here. And for the price scale, you can see that uh, there are all these numbers over here. So for example, if you see a number like 4.7, that means that's 10 to the power of 4.7. And yeah, that's uh, a bit of a limitation of TradingView. Perhaps in the future we can also add the real price. But for now this is already amazing that they were able to pull this off. And as you can see we even have um, multiple market cycles projected into the future over here. And uh, these are based, these projections here are based on our full power law model. So yeah, that gives you a lot of insight and you can prepare for future cycles by following this. Next, let's talk about the spiral clock. It's even crazier that this chart could be reproduced in TradingView, but here we are. So here's a quick refresher on how to interpret this chart. 
Think of each Bitcoin market cycle as a day on this clock, with the only difference being that one day is 12 hours, or one rotation around this clock, instead of 24 hours. As you can see, we have different times on this clock. We have 12 o'clock, uh, where the tops of the market cycles generally happen. Uh, bottoms usually happen close to 3 o'clock, transitions from bear to bull at 6 o'clock, and transitions to the frenzy phase of the bull market at 9 o'clock. And as you can see, we have different lines uh, on this clock. The yellow line represents the average, while the purple line represents the projection based on the full model. And as you can see, the clock and this red line over here shows the current time. And it also intersects the previous cycles, which allows you to see what the price was doing back then. And these white circles over here are halvings. And these uh, dotted little circles over here just to help you understand uh, the general price range. As you can see, there are different numbers here. There's 1 million, 100,000, 10,000, 1,000, and so on. And uh, yeah, this is uh, how you interpret the clock. We're glad to announce that all of these indicators are now available as a part of our Luxalgo package. And we're also in the process of creating a community for our Luxalgo members. And I will link the instructions on how to join this community down below once we set everything up. And uh, the people who also want to be uh, listed in the credits of our Luxalgo market updates will also be able to indicate this once we set everything up. But for now, I really hope you enjoyed this quick little uh, tutorial on our Luxalgo indicators. And I hope to see you soon. See you guys.